if an Abra appears, I can, like, I'd have to, I can feed it and then huck a Great Ball. It's the best I can do there. And it'll probably disappear. Oh, Psyduck. Psyduck. Eh. No, I don't think that's a rare one. No, I want that Abra. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, shit. No, I have a Bell Sprouts. So that's not yeah. terrible either. It's like, wiggle, 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 wiggle. I attack you. Oh, a Squirtle. I don't know when one's going to turn up. I assume that one is going to turn up, though. Yeah, if you guys giving you a Charmander and a Bulbasaur, then yeah. I, mean, uh, I feel like there's a better place to like check the grass up up there. Probably. My worry is if there's <laughs> going to be trainer <laughs> They're like attacking you before then, because this episode's running a little long. I don't it's a new if, route, though. Technically, I don't remember if oh, this is Abra route. will show up. Yeah, these are two separate routes. I don't remember if Abra will show up here. Uh, Another sure. Squirtle. Eek. Run away. I mean, the pit. I, I... No, I don't have a Pidgey. I have a Spearow. So if that Pidgey hits me, that's my catch. Yikes. Let's go back over here. Can I trigger stuff to show up if I hang out on Nugget Bridge? Probably. Yep. yep. Looks like yep. a yes. It's a Pidgey. <sighs> Squirtle. And there's a Pokeball There has the to be there. Abra over there. Side right? Like, again. there usually is. Yeah, this is definitely... Hey, Goji-licious. Th that's like the one really good lucky catch you could hypothetically make in a Nuzlocke. If you're super lucky, well, if you're super unlucky, then you get, then you run into an Abra because it's almost guaranteed to be a wasted catch. But if you do catch it, an Abra this early can be a fucking godsend. It's the catching it that's the trick. Yeah, you essentially have to roll really good random numbers. Although in this, I don't think they have teleport. Really? Right? Like, it's Pokemon Go. No, 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 because in Pokemon Go, Pokemon can run away. And I want to say that the Abra line, especially Abra itself, has a really high escape rate. I like, mean, trying to keep it consistent, right? Like, they'll let you throw one ball, but after that, they just jack it up to the maximum. So odds are it's going to run automatically after that. Oh, I thought that was one. That's a Meowth. <sighs> Maybe there isn't one here. What do I pick, then? Like, I feel like I don't have a huge... Um, I don't really care about Venonat. I'm almost certainly going to get a Squirtle. Uh, you can pick up a Psyduck. I could get a Psyduck. Psyduck is such garbage, though. Like Gold Which Duck sucks. Is okay. Like I love Psyduck, but like Golduck is just a poop. They keep throwing these Squirtles at me. Oh, that's probably because that's the rare thing. Yeah. But like, I don't want one though. I also don't want a Meowth. I have no interest in a Meowth. Well, you don't want a Kit Kat? Heck, Kit Kat. He's just if not. It, if it was actual Gen 1 Meowth, it'd be like, fuck yeah. Gen yeah, 1, uh, if you see a Meowth, you catch that son of a bitch. And Definitely you make don't extra want a money with Squirtle. payday. Yep. So, Gen 1, critical hits were based off of your speed, I think? Yeah, it was like. Yeah, yeah. It was based off of speed, and certain moves had a higher, like, base crit rate, yeah. like, slash. And so, the big thing was. I think I'm just going to run in and just going to grab whatever whatever hits me at this point. Like, yeah, I we can't. haven't seen that it matters too much, apparently. Oh, oh right, an actual battle. Uh, so it was based off of speed, and Persian was one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. I think it was the fastest. Or maybe Jolteon. It, it, was was it was the fastest that could learn Slash. Yeah, it was the fastest that could learn Slash and could also learn... Um, Hyper Beam? I mean, I think it can learn Hyper Beam. There's also there was one. Or well, more. it could stab Hyper Beam it, because there's no special. Oh yeah, there was there was one more move. It was some like agility style thing that sped it up one more or something. Oh okay. But basically, it so because it was based on crits and Slash had an increased chance of a crit as well. Like it took whatever your chances were supposed to be and increased them by. Jeez. Such percent. So it was like you you crit slashed constantly with the. Almost guaranteed. Yeah. Like if you did if you did anything to increase your, your agility at all, it was 100% guaranteed. You would always get a crit, and back then, not the case anymore. In Gen 1, it was coded so weirdly, I want to say that crit just ignored defense or something? They either ignored defense or ignored, like, a large portion of defense. Crit like, did a lot of damage. Nowadays, defense buffs, I think, are ignored if you get a crit. Like, it, any, like it, still, uses, it still does the calculations off your base defense, but if you've been, if like, you've using been defense, defense curling, curl and stuff, then it ignores that. it or something. Oh, okay. I didn't think that it did that, but... That might be that might be an outdated thing, too. Uh, but it will do certain percent more than it's supposed to in addition to all of that stuff. Please, not a fucking Pidgey. 
I mean, at this point, just get a fucking Pidgey so you don't have to worry about it ever again. Yeah, but I don't want to... What else would you use? Nothing. You know? I guess. There's not a lot of stuff that I'm like... It's super boring. I get it, but... <sighs> or you can just catch nothing in this area. I mean, yes, but there's no reason to do that, especially if I can catch something that'll knock it out from other areas. I'm going to do Psyduck... Actually, if I want to just knock stuff out, Meowth does appear in a lot of places. Maybe I do Meowth the and Pidgeys a Pidgey. The Pidgeys are also very agile. I'd argue, but... Let's do it. And I know that Squirtle staring me in the face, and I want it so badly, but I know I'm going to get one later. It's going to be a good level, and I think that their stats are also slightly boosted, too. So... Oh, bitch. There we go. Interesting. So, you don't have to battle them first? Nope. Not for catches. It's just Pokemon Go for these. Yeah. I still think Pidgey was the catch. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna get Pidgey on 25. Oh okay. Yeah, because it was it's the same catches, right? I think so, or it's very close to. They looked identical. I didn't see anything different. I didn't see a Bell Sprout. Bell Sprout. Uh, yeah, actually, might have been the only major difference there. All right, so we got a Meowth. Watch the second I do that because it's gonna because it resets everything else. Some other shit that I want is gonna yeah, show up. Fucking well, let's name our cat. <laughs> it's a boy cat. Somehow, like Tyranitar will pop out. It's like what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, change name. So boy cat. Can you just name it like Cats the Musical? That was from the eighties. Right? Oh God. Lion O. Oh, oh actually, there bad. you go. Yeah. What were the other names of the uh, of them? Uh, oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. What were the Somebody look up Samurai Snarf? Pizza Cats. I'm not naming anything Snarf because I don't hate my Pokemon that much. <laughs> I like Snarf. I want to say the main character from Samurai Pizza Cats was named Speedy Ceviche. What? The, whatever, baby. <laughs> you name your crazy ass they shit were three you want. They were three cats that were also samurais. Characters. There was a samurai that had a pizza shop. Uh, oh, I hit more. That sounds so 90s, I can't Characters. even say Oh, yeah. It. Yataro. Sukashi. Okay. Pururun. Well, what were their names? Tokugawa Lele. <laughs> does or Ye Ye. I does guess include their right. English names. Ke oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, yeah. <laughs> English <laughs> names. <laughs> Do, 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 no, do. not not what? S it tried to autocorrect to Samurai Pizza Cats English near me. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. We, uh, are there any Samurai Pizza Cats near me? Please let me know. I s I think Ceviche was the name of the. What, these are all still. What? Do they not just have like it's part of the theme song? Is them naming each other? Samurai. Pizza Cats is an American animated cartoon. Wait, that was an American? Mm. Oh, an adaptation of the series Kyoto Ninden Teandi. Yeah. Teande. Uh, characters. List of Samurai Pizza Cats characters. Jesus fucking. Oh, it goes back. Yeah, Speedy Sir Yataro slash Speedy Serviche. Okay. I have and no idea how it's. I think it's supposed to be pronounced Esther, like Cerviche. Or Polly Esther. Polly Esther and uh, Guido Anchovy. Guido and I'm gonna go with Don't name with any of them that. It doesn't make any sense. His power is Ichimunji's fire. Oh. He has red eyes and wears blue armor. I don't know. Like, I think Ceviche <laughs> is supposed to be spelled without an R, but his, this is how his sure name is. is spelled. Guido Anchovy. His English name is a reference to the anchovy fish. <laughs> is it? Oh, really? Is and, it, Ben? And Guido is common Italian given name. What? Oh you my god. Wait, why did you just attack that Squirtle? You can't catch now, it. I can't keep it, but I can at least put it in my Pokedex in the meantime. And also used as a slang term for a young male Italian-American in New York. I was going to say. However, his southern accent may be a reference to then-President Bill Clinton. <laughs> what, what the fuck was this show about? It was about... Ca it, was, it was, think, DuckTales, but instead of... Whatever they're supposed to be doing on a regular basis, they have a pizza shop. I guess the eight. Wait, do you eighties or nineties? Nineties. I guess the nineties is just a different time. I mean, I mean, yeah. All, yeah okay. Thanks. Yes, ah. Ben. Yes, it was. 
And in DuckTales, about half the time, if they were with, you know, Uncle Scrooge, they were, you know, exploring adventures and shit. Oh, man. Apparently, in the new DuckTales, uh, what's the name? Oh, damn it. What's the name of uh, the uh, the big guy that, like, fucking hell flies Quack the McDuck, plane? Quack McDuck, Is it one? Quack? I think it's, I think it's something I like For that. some reason, fucking Christ, Squirtle. I was going to say Quack Shot, but. Uh, uh, what? No. <laughs> no, it's something McQuack, I think. His first name. Regardless, whatever his name was, Jesus Christ, uh, whatever his name was, he um, he is apparently a huge fan of Darkwing Duck. Like nice. within the universe of the new oh, Ducktales, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a fan of Darkwing yeah, yeah, Duck. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Who in the real world was voiced by Jim Cummings, but in the world of Ducktales is an actor named Jim Starling. I was nice. just like, all right, that's cute. All right, and like they keep making references to to. Darkwing Duck via so, Launchpad, Launchpad McQuack. Launchpad. That's it. That's it. That's it. So like he's got a little he's got a little bobblehead of Darkwing Duck that he pulls out when he wants a little bit of added. I should confidence. go back and watch that again because the first episode was amazing. First episode was great. People. I keep, don't remember why I never went back and watched. People the keep rest. asking if we're gonna do D pad and chills of it. I'm just gonna like maybe I don't know. I at least want to go back and watch him. I think I forgot. I didn't know when the other ones were coming out, and I was sort of waiting for you to mention it, uh, and then you never did. It was weird. They released the first episode like way ahead of the rest. Like they did some weird shit with that. Yeah. Come on, Pidgey. Come on, Pidgey. Nope, Pidgey. Venonat. Pidgey, Pidgey, Pidgey. I also really like Venonat. Oh my god! I win. It's an infestation of Venonat. Blop, 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 blop. Look, they're in sync too. Wow. How do you deal with the Venonat infestation in the world of Pokemon? Those things are huge, yeah. right? They're bigger than most people. Like, like if you're if you're fumigating, if you're get, if you're doing pest control, you don't feel too emotionally invested in like, oh no, I've killed some ants. But if you see a bunch of like four foot tall purple fuzzy bug dudes, there's a Pidgey. It's a little hard to go and just be like, yeah, kill all of them. Come on, Pidgey, get down here. You know you want to. Uh, I don't know if. It came from Route 25. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna count. If I get this, I was, it you, spawned in Route 25. It I'm counts. Not gonna, we're I'd not argue. gonna get that granular with this. So this is my actual catch here. The bing. All right. You were like a step over the line anyway. Yeah, like. it's, it's it's the same. The stats, as far as I'm aware, don't change if you if you walk over, you know, the line into a new route. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get too stressed over this. All right. Boom. All right. So we get to give that one a name as well. Uh huh. Oh, you yeah, didn't this, name the squirrel either. No, because that's, well, that's not a real keeping. catch. He's done. He's Gunzo. Harsh, turning him into candy. Yep, tough candy. Well, yeah, he's got a shell. Yeah. So, if you're making no, 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 no. There we go. Okay. My connection with my Joy-Con here is like total garbage. I don't know why. Like, I feel Maybe like it's, it's super delayed on stuff. I, it shouldn't be. I think it's we've Could had. I've had this issue before. For some reason, with this game, when it connects to one Joy-Con, it seems to struggle a bit. Could be the soundbar in front of the Switch. Maybe I don't know. All right, Stop a talking bird. nonsense, oh, is it a, Ben. It's a boy bird. Uh, uh, whatever we could have thought for the Spiro would work here. I know, right? A boy Just bird from the nineties. <laughs> like, nah. Uh, Trying to think of like a. What were the names of some of those like? No, I guess all those big elemental <laughs> Pokemon and the Pokemon movies never got name names. They were just called their Pokemon name because they were all legendary. Yes, and shit. yeah. Also, like Pidgeot is just a bigger, more beautiful Pidgey. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so all um, the Pidgey family is. Just what were the upgrade. names of the pigeons from Animaniacs? Oh God, did they get names? They got names. Jesus Christ! I mean, they're literal pigeons, and this is Pidgey, so I feel like this is a valid use of those. It's going to be, like, such generic Italian names, because that was the whole thing, is that it was a, uh, it was a playoff of, um, what's his name? Um, Apocalypse Now. What the fuck is his name? Um, Pesto the, the Pigeon, Squit the Pigeon, and Bobby the Pigeon. Pesco? P-E-S-C-O? Pesto. P-E-S-T-O. Oh, Pesto. Oh, that's perfect. I like Squit. 
That's gross. You can't admit that on... I like squit in don't, my mouth. You can't say that, no. I think pesto and cer ceviche are, are a nice pair for uh, our, our little antipasto, you know... Nope, route punch him in the dick. Punch him in the Nugget dick. Nugget Bridge Olive Garden collection. Oh, they're called the Good Feathers. That's right. I was like, was it a, was it a Godfather thing? No, it's the... I guess it's kind of a combo of the good of the Godfather and the good and Goodfellas. Regardless, we're gonna come back next time and we're gonna head this way down Route 25. Next time, we'll see you.